Hi guys, happy Friday. Um, thanks for joining me for another what eight in a day as a vegan on Slimming World. Um, I apologize straight away for being a little bit down today. Um, Delta died last night, like I briefly said. Um, it was quite sudden. I'm just glad that I was holding her. I was literally holding her when she died. Um, so yeah, I'm all alone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna massively miss her. Like. I keep catching myself, like, talking to her. It's fine. So anyway, food-wise, it is currently, did I say Happy Friday at the beginning? It's Thursday today, sorry. So, um, yeah, it's half past 11. I've had one coffee. I'm having a really busy morning at work as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, I've had one coffee. I'm really hungry, so I'm making my lunch now. So what you can hear, sorry about my voice, by the way, I've had a really crap night's sleep. <clears throat> so what you can hear is um, my tofu. Uh, this is smoked tofu. This is actually my last block of tofu, probably until payday, but we'll see. Um, so I'm just uh, dry frying that at a moment. And I've got two rolls out of the freezer. So um, one of those healthy extra B, one is six sins. And then I've got the prepared salad that I put together yesterday, um, like the other half of it. So it's red cabbage, iceberg, carrot, and cucumber. And I'm just gonna fashion some kind of sandwiches. My pan is definitely losing its non-stick, um, <laughs> but you know, it's quite old. So I've just put, I've obviously just flipped these, but on the other side before I flip them, I just put a total of half a teaspoon of my smoked rape, see, uh, smoked za'atar oil. Um, it was gonna be a teaspoon, but I picked up the half teaspoon. So a half teaspoon it was. So I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon on this side as, oh, it's a drop. And a half teaspoon on this side as well and see how we go. I didn't show you just now, so this is how I did it. I just literally, it's just a couple of dots of oil, not very much, but it'll be enough to give it a little bit of flavor. I mean, this is smoked tofu anyway. Um, I pretty much only buy the smoked one, unless I'm broke at the end of the month. <laughs> so, yeah. Don't want these to stick anymore. Yeah, we definitely um, might have to look at investing in a new pan at some point. Let's just flip these again. So that other side that I'm flipping was a raw side that then had oil. So now this is the partially cooked side that's got a bit of oil. Excellent. I just sprinkled over a bit of mold and sea salt as well, just for some flakes of delightfulness. Um, if you've never had pan fried smoked tofu with a bit of salt on it, oh, you're missing out because it's so good. Um, especially with that smoked oil, yum. Okay, so this is my um, bread. I've literally just put half a teaspoon of mayonnaise on each side. I might do one more half because then that's half a teaspoon, uh, half a tablespoon, and I know how to sin that. <laughs> also, could just use a tiny bit more. This is not the ideal implement for spreading. Also, for getting mayonnaise out the jar because it's like all stuck to one side and not the other. Whatever. So this is a total of three half teaspoons, which is one and a half teaspoons which is half a tablespoon of Hellman's vegan mayo um, and that is five cents a tablespoon so that makes this half a tablespoon just two and a half cents plus the two cents for the oil is four and a half cents okay so here's everything about to come together look how good that tofu looks and that was just one teaspoon of oil for two cents so good. Again, I said it before, I'll say it again. I wish you guys had smell of vision because it smells so good. Anyway, um, that mayonnaise, just about enough to get a little coating on there. So I'm quite pleased I did that. 
I did have to get it out of the teaspoon with my finger <laughs> and then spread some using my finger as well. <laughs> but there's only meat in it, so it doesn't matter. Golden rule, always remember to get all the crispy bits out of the pan because they're delicious. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't manage to make it look pretty, but I put all the rest of the salad on the plate and I'm just gonna kind of scoop it up. <laughs> hey guys, so um, firstly, I haven't been punched in the face. I uh, had a nap uh, for like the last hour, but I fell asleep on my phone. <laughs> and so I've got a massive indentation in my face. Um, yeah, uh, sorry today's video isn't brilliant. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner now. It's like quarter past seven. Um, and to be honest, I just want something plain. <laughs> I know I eat really boring, I'm sorry. Um, I'll be more exciting uh, when I have more energy. So, um, I don't know, shall I just have pasta? <sighs> Bit boring having it two days in a row, isn't it? But I don't really know what to have do you know what this is so depressing like i haven't i haven't put like done anything with delta's cage yet because i don't know what to do but like i keep trying to talk to her and it's like hitting home that i'm very very alone <laughs> i miss my little friend <laughs> so <sighs> is what it is Okay, I've foraged and I have come up with a small plan. I'm going to make garlic mushroom pasta. <laughs> Can you tell it's just pasta with garlic and mushrooms? <laughs> I'm going to put some petit pois in it for uh, just a bit of protein and just to bulk it out a bit. I've also got some large pieces of frozen cauliflower there, just again, just to bulk it out. Um, and I've got a load of garlic in my pan. Yes, that's the same pan from lunchtime. Waste not, want not. And then I've got my mushrooms that really need using um, quite desperately. So I'm just gonna saute the mushrooms and the garlic together, boil the pasta and the cauliflower, add the peas at the end. Uh, it's probably essentially gonna be it. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more of this um, smoked oil in because it's just so tasty and that'll be really, really nice. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have cheese on it. I feel like I've just eaten so much cheese lately. But on the other hand, it's a really nice, like, fatty component, if you see what I mean. Um, I don't know. I'll decide in a minute. Look at these garlic mushrooms, guys. They're so yum. I have to turn the heat off, but... Um, I added two teaspoons of my smoked za'atar oil. And I'm going to add another one teaspoon through everything. So I've just got, I did spaghetti in the end, you know, just to vary it up. Um, with my cauliflower and peas and mushrooms. So that'll be that. <laughs> Not very exciting. It'll taste really good. Oh, and I've got, um, just again, just some uh, sea salt in the mushrooms as well. Oh my God, yum. And there we have it. <laughs> Not the most visually stunning meal, but it's going to be delicious. Again, smoked zatar oil for those who haven't seen it is just from Stroud Smokehouse. I did have a look on their website, by the way, to see if they do online orders. And I think they might just be a local company, guys. So I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> hey guys, a bit of a weird one today. So I'm really sorry that this video hasn't been like much energy or even very exciting food, but I figured if I don't post, I lose accountability. So um, thank you for watching if you did stick it through. <laughs> Uh, I expect there isn't much footage actually because I don't think I filmed that much. Um, I've done some more work on my um, dotting this evening. I keep looking up to talk to Delta. <laughs> it's so weird without her. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I need to show you my diary. I'll, I'll show you my diary now. Okay, here is today's diary. Again, not really a brilliant well, oh, I say that every day, sorry, I shouldn't really. Um, two sins used on my... Silly things, not focusing. There we go. Two sins on my um, milk in my coffee. Obviously, lunch had the smoked tofu with a teaspoon of oil over it. All that salad and the two rolls and then um, one and a half teaspoons of mayo. And then dinner was very simple, basically flavoured with the garlic and the oil. 
I've got to say, it was really nice. I did put loads of garlic in though. Like, it was very delicious. Um, yeah, today I feel sad. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Um, I started this one last night before poor little Delts died. Um, it's a little paisley style bug. I've got to do some more on him. But I thought that was quite a fun new type of design. So, yeah. I was just about to do say goodbye, but I thought I'd just show you quickly the butterfly because I finished it. Here it is. So I don't know how well you can see it in the light. I feel like it is finished now. I've left the sides, I've done dots all around the top. I just think it's giving such a cool effect with the um, like bronze. Oh, maybe I'll. No, the idea is that it is supposed to be rustic. Maybe I'll do something about that little bit there. I don't know. I don't really like it. But it is supposed to just be very rough looking there. But then going into the detail. So that's that's the butterfly. Let me know what you guys think. I'm actually quite chuffed with it. Um, this is a one-off, like I said, I don't normally have these. Um, I wasn't really sure how to decorate it, but I am actually, I'm really pleased with how effective this pattern has turned out to be. So yeah, quite pleased with that. I also started a new little stone but then it got too late. So there we go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.